okay, so off of that last video, I want to continue on a little bit. Now, from you guys' perspective, I died, I came back, and I have all the answers. I remember everything. Okay, cool. Sorry. Cool, that's, that's really awesome. And y'all think that um, that's a really cool thing and that I have more data and and I do and I have things that I can say to you that I can help you and I do but you really need to understand that from my perspective when I died and went to the other side I'm with aspects of all of you guys and all of us know everything and it really is no big deal the knowing about how everything works outside of a creation on the outside of time space is just what everybody does it's what everybody knows so <clears throat> when I come back here and I talk to you guys and you're all oh wow that's cool <clears throat> you, you guys need to forgive me a little bit in how you approach me like that because when I am remembering all of that stuff that I'm telling you about, I am remembering it from the perspective that you all are there, and you all know it all too, and it's no big deal. So, <clears throat> then I came back, come back here, and no one remembers anything, hardly. And the ones that do remember, uh, that, we, that I thought really remembered a lot, come to find out they, they really... I uh, don't have much more memory than than I did before I died. And so, although there is truth in everything, and there's truth in everything, there's truth in what your children say, there's truth in what you feel, there's truth in religions, there's truth in education, there's truth, there's truth in everything. But it's that whole truth that starts to be tricky, it really is. So even with the New Age um, belief systems, it, it really has become, from my perspective, almost the new religion. And that's not, not everybody, so don't jump all over the place on it, but uh, a good portion of it has become the new religion, and it must be this way. And it's so not this way. The whole point of this whole, of all of our creations everywhere, is to see new perspectives have new experiences always so anybody who teaches you and if you have heard that from me um, I apologize because I do not mean it if you have ever heard from anyone that this is the way it must be and this is it then they're wrong because there is always a different perspective always uh, there can there are infinite perspectives and experiences for us to have in all creations no matter what we do you can always tweak it always tweak it now what I will say is in this creation uh, the law of attraction has been set up this way to create now understand that like gravity and like time space the law of attraction is a part of this creation too this is not the law of attraction is not the way everything is created in every reality in every other creation that's the law of attraction works here okay that was all put into place in conjunction with time space and the lower vibrations that were wanted to, to reach so I don't think I've clarified that before that the law of attraction is not everywhere at all times that is a creation that happens in this creation of duality of what you would call light dark good bad high low start finish all of those words are a part of the time space illusion and with time space illusion came law of attraction so that the creationary process could still be in play but it would be in play in a different way and, but it would always be in play so it could be and there was going to be fail safes oh and the last I forgot to tell you guys on that last one where I said that when you go into despair you kind of you know kind of don't emit anything and good things happen to you that's one of the fail safes by the way prison children are one of the fail safes to Gaia getting out of here 
um, you being in the lowest levels of what we know human bodies can survive, which that will probably change over time, by the way. But right now, what we believe, the way the human body has been made up to this point, uh, those deep, dark, despair moments, that's the lowest vibration that right now is available for the human body, which is why it shuts down. So that shutdown is the fail-safe, where it goes, okay, I can't do this anymore, and you're almost, feel like you're almost dead. Feel like you're dying, and you're almost dead. Then you will finally go, and the fail-safe kicks in. Good things will come on you. It'll bring up your vibration. Now, you can go do that up and down, up and down, like I said, as many times as you would like. But um, that's what it's there for. It's one of the fail-safes. And there are quite a few fail-safes in this game because it is so intense that there are quite a few fail-safes. But ultimately, uh, the Law of Attraction is here. Uh, you can never, this game will go on forever because you can, there are infinite perspectives and infinite experiences to be had in this creation. So it will always be uh, the creations that you make, and I know that doesn't make any sense to you because you're going, well, you just said that we create things. Well, that's a start of a thing, right? And then you say, okay, well, it's always been and it always will be. Well, how could those two things be so? And they can be so because you're outside of time space. And you're just going to have to trust me on that because uh, uh, I've seen, you know, Eckhart Tolle and Deepak Chop some other, a bunch of other people talk about, uh, try to explain the now, and I didn't understand it then. I don't know of any different way of explaining now that I've been there in the now. Ah, that's funny. Uh, so I don't know how to explain it other than to say it's just, it's just so different. I, I don't have any way to translate it for you. You're just going to have to trust that that uh, if you can start to get your head around that time space and it is an illusion and guys that are older really seriously that can't be that hard. I mean we completely mess with time whenever with daylight savings time right we go okay arbitrarily it's an hour earlier being magic. okay that's messing with time space. We have different time zones around the planet. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, now, doesn't it become kind of obvious at that point that we're kind of making this shit up as we go? <laughs> well, it does to me. If it does to you at all, then you can understand just real quickly that there is something that's be beyond time-space. That what it looks like uh, before we made it up and made it look like it was day after day after day after day. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is a weird video because I don't even remember where I started. Anyway, um, when it comes to me looking at things from the other side where I'm not 57 anymore, um, I'm ageless and so is everybody else. And then I come back here and I'm 57 and I think in terms of 57, I go, oh my gosh, I'm just a baby in the big scheme of things. But then I'm looking at you guys, and uh, I don't do know things that you uh, don't know, but there's a lot of you guys that are better at being human than I am. You really are. And, um, yeah, if I come visit you, um, I'm counting on you showing me around, you you people that are better at being human. Okay? That's, that's really where I am not very good at being human. I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good to take care of this body, and I really want to see this planet. So I'm basically going to go from house to house to house and let you guys show me around uh, knowing that you love me and that your love will, um, you know, that I can stand right next to you. And if I'm next to you, then I can vibrate like you and I'll be safer <laughs> looking around on the planet. So there will be those times when I'll go out on my own and... Yeah, I'll probably fall off of something and break something, but, you know, I've broken a lot of bones over the years, and I can handle it, I can set them, and I can get out to further help if I need it. So, uh, because I do like uh, being out alone, and quite frankly, I've not ever found anybody that is my age that wants to do what I want to do, which is <laughs> basically sell everything you've got, drive around in an old bus, and 
uh, see the world. And then whenever you're done with driving, then uh, backpack around the rest of the world with no money, hardly anything, and just looking at nature and saying hi to people. <laughs> Not a great surprise that people aren't lined up to do that with me, right? <laughs> Uh, and the further away from people I can get, the better, you know, because the further away you are from people, the more nature comes up to me. You know, the, the further out I am, the more um, the nature will come very, very close to me. And I like that. I like to see in their eyes. I can um, feel them, feel them that way. So, yeah, that's why I like to go out in nature so much. It's because nature animals and insects and birds come to me uh, well the closer you are to humans or groups of humans you know they're not dumb they know they know who to avoid on this planet they know who's dangerous <laughs> okay kind of a scatterbane video on this one so yeah take what you can and don't worry about the rest oh I do want to say one more thing though because this is this is what happens there is the very and this is true with anything on the planet earth there is abc's and if you learn the abc's which is quite simple it doesn't take long and all the sounds that go with abc's in the english language you could probably uh certainly read your way and learn to speak your way with just that knowledge right but then we start adding all kinds of other stuff on top of it like words and then complex words and then punctuation and then paragraphs and then books and then fancier words upon fancier words and see that can go on endlessly okay well that's how it is when you guys ask me you know how things run or you ask me a question so I give you the ABC's which is uh, law of attraction and so be happier and happier and happier no matter what that's the ABC's with those ABC's law of attraction be happier and happier and happier no matter what you can get to 5d okay but yeah I can tell you the rest the complex words the paragraphs the punctuation and beyond and the history of of the English language as we know it from a from a very high standpoint <laughs> I can tell you all that but Ultimately, somewhere down the line in that conversation, you're going to go, whoa, 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 I, I don't understand. You're, you're outside of me. So, no, you need to make it easy. So, I'll go back to the law of attraction and being happier and happier and happier. And then that'll work for a while and you'll feel better. Then you want more information. So, I start adding more information. You get overwhelmed and you go, oh, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And I go back to the basics and that's what I do. That's what I do. So, guys, for all of you who are the simple people that are more, you know, I like to play with complexities. And, yes, um, Illinois, I am cerebral. Uh, yeah, I do get excited by other people's, how their brain works, how they think. Yeah, that's me. But I do like to find the simplicity in everything, too. I like to take it back to, wow, you think it's this complex, like um, a beautiful tapestry. I love that beautiful tapestry. I love the feel, the smell, the design, the intricacies, the person who came up with it. I love all that. But I also love getting real, real close with the magnifying um, glass and saying, wow, this is all made of teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny strands of stuff. Isn't that amazing? Teeny, tiny, one right after the other, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny strands that are made into thread, which are made into yarn, which are, which are made into the tapestry, which are a part of somebody's house, which is in a beautiful city, which is, a, you get it? You get it? So I will certainly describe how to make thread out of those little tiny strands. I will tell you what the tapestry looks like and how many tapestries you want to ask about. I will tell you about the houses that they're in, the people that they that made them, and the worlds where also other tapestries are made. I'll tell you all of that. But the higher up you go, the more complex everything is, just like here. Just like here. Just like the simple version is, you breathe in, you breathe out. Breathe in, 
and breathe out. And you live. That's a simple version. But how does that work? And how complex does that get? Is that oxygen and everything coming in through my nose and out through my nose and how it interacts with everything around. See, it gets very complex. That's how everything is. If you want to know, if you, if you just want the complexities because they're fun to play with, I am more than happy to give them to you. But what happens frequently is I hand complexities that will lead to more complexities, which will lead to more complexities that there will come a time where you don't understand it anymore, that it's outside of the brain power, the understanding. And then you just quickly, not you, but people um, quickly just disregard all of it. And I'll go, they ask for, okay, give me more, 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 give me more. Okay, I, no, I don't believe that shit. Uh-uh. That's, no, whoa, mind-blowing. No. So, therefore, they disregard all of it down to the ABCs. That's why you hear me just, it's not that I don't have stuff to talk about. I do. But I don't want people to do that. If I go too hard and too fast and, uh, yeah, people have been around me that I've done that with. And uh, they didn't deal with it well at all. They didn't deal with it well at all. Not at all. So I'm really, really, uh, really tend to do that more one-on-one -on -one and just feel people out and see where you are and see how, how far I can go with what I know. I would love to meet somebody like me that we could just chit-chat about everything. But a lot of it is just too mind-boggling and then you don't hear anything I say. And the whole point for me to do these videos is to help you, to make you feel better, to make you happier, to make this journey easier because mine was sucky. It's still, it's still very tough, still very tough because I can't run around all day being in my that other side that knows the other side. So I come back into body and I still deal with all of the problems, all of my belief systems. And yeah, I've tried all of those immediate, just call this person and pay $300 and they'll magically get in your head and poof, the negative belief is gone. Yeah, it didn't work. Didn't work for me. All those magic pills, uh, yeah, they don't work for me. Probably has something to do with the fact that I was tortured as a child, <laughs> as an infant, so I don't trust people. Could have something to do with that. <laughs> <clears throat> I totally trust my experience on the other side, but I don't trust people because, well, they're terrifying because <laughs> they've done some really bad things to me. So, yeah, it's probably all of that has to do with, uh, I'm not, nobody's been able to hypnotize me ever either. wonder why. <laughs> I think it has to do with trust issues, right? <laughs> anyway, so there's a bunch of random thoughts that, uh, that you might be interested in. So have fun with that. And uh, huge hugs to everybody. And I mean that. Whether I'm scared of you or not, I still love you. And huge hugs to you all. Okay? Bye-bye <laughs> now.